Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to do some great addition and subtraction puzzles. Um, there's something that you're going to need for it. You're going to need 15 things of one colour and 15 things of another colour. So let me give you an example of the kind of things you might use. So it might be uh, like I could use green cubes and orange ones. Or another thing that you could do is, if you've got a lot of them, is get like 15 silver coins and 15 copper coins. Or maybe you'll just get some pieces of paper and cut out 15 squares and colour them one colour and 15 and colour them another colour. It's really going to help us to build our understanding of these tasks so we can do them practically. I'm going to show you how you can represent the tasks in pictures. Then we can move on and we'll be able to do some really advanced maths using the same skills if we build our understanding in that way. We're going to get going. I can't wait to get started. So yesterday we dived really deeply into the difference between two numbers. Let's say the difference between 61 and 46. That's actually the same as the difference between 59 and 44. All I do here is I just subtract two from both numbers. And actually those differences are the same. Now, I just need to think, well, which calculation would I find easier? So 61 subtract 46. I actually think I find it easier doing 59 subtract 44. So rather than doing 61 subtract 46, first of all, I just take two from both numbers and I do this subtraction instead. I think this is a wonderful technique. Um, so 582 subtract 234 to find the difference between 582 and 234. Just need to think, hmm. I think I can adjust those numbers to make this calculation slightly easier. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract 3 from both numbers. There we go. I can do this subtraction instead and then the answer will be the same as for this calculation. Now here I can just subtract all the hundreds and the tens and the ones from each other uh, and there's no regrouping involved. So let's have a look at this technique one, one more time. 405 subtract 267. Is there a way I can make this easier? I think there is. I just need to subtract 6 from both numbers. And then the calculation I get is 399 subtract 261. 300 to take 200 is 100. 9 tens to take 6 tens is 3 tens. And 9 to take 1, that's 8. So 405 subtract 267, 138. When we really understand this technique, it's amazing how it can help us calculate. So this example was sent through yesterday and I loved it. I wonder if we can apply that understanding we just looked at to answer these questions. So we've been given 91 subtract 39 equals 52. So how can we use that number sentence to work out the next one? How can we use 94 subtract 36 to work out the next one? And so on. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, let's check how we got on. Now, first of all, well done, Mum, who got all the answers right. So, 91, 94, that, that's three more. 39, 36, we're taking away three less, so the answer is six more. Oh, I like that one. Uh, on this example, we're taking away, we're subtracting two more, so the answer's two less. Here, for both of the numbers, we're subtracting two less. So the answer is the same, the difference stays the same. And then let's have a look at this last one. This is an interesting one. So the, the amount that we have is five more and we're subtracting one more. So in total, four more. Oh, love that example. Thank you. I am looking forward to today. Today we're gonna to do some different sum and difference challenges and the title is Boys, Girls and Children because that's the context that we're gonna be calculating in you're going to become experts in learning how to calculate um, using lots of different strategies. You're going to use your equipment, you're going to use pictures. Then when we come to harder problems later, you'll understand the structure so well that you'll have really great success. Here's the first challenge. Ten children at a party. Remember when we could all join up and go to parties? Four more boys than girls at the party. Hmm. How many girls? And how many boys? Pause the video, use your counters that you've got, see if you can find the find the answer, calculate how many girls will there be, how many boys will there be, how can you show that? Pause the video. 
Okay, so let's have a look at this one. We've got 10 children, four more boys than girls. Rather than starting with the 10 children, I think I'm going to start with the four more boys. And so there. Now, how many more children am I going to need? I'm going to need six more children. So I'm going to get three more boys and th three more girls. So in total, that is seven boys and three girls. So let me have a look. Seven boys and three girls, that's 10 children. And that is four more boys than girls. Now, let me just draw around this, see if we can make our bar model. So that is four more boys, and that is six more children in total, three more boys and three more girls. So in total, we've got seven boys and three girls. And there's our picture to show. Well, I wonder if you can apply that understanding to this question. 20 children at the park. Oh, I miss the park. Six more girls than boys at the park. How many girls must be at the park? And how many boys must be at the park? Pause the video. Now this time, can you show this with the equipment or the counters that you've got? Could you draw a picture that shows how you can answer this problem? Can you do it in different ways? Love to see how you get on this time. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So 20 children, six more girls than boys. You might have done this with equipment, which is great. I'm gonna see if I can draw a bar model. So we're gonna have two bars and the top one represents the girls because there's more girls than boys and the bottom one represents the boys. And in total, that is 20 children. Um, it is six more girls than boys. So that leaves 14 children otherwise. So let me have a think, that must be seven more girls and seven more boys. So let's have a look. In total, I've got seven boys and 13 girls. Let, let's see if that looks right. So seven and 13 is 20 children. Is this six more girls than boys? Yeah. We're gonna have a look at one last example and this is in the context of money. So we don't know how much money Kim has or how much money Zara has yet, but we know that Kim has 10 pounds more than Zara and we know they've got 60 pounds in total. Let's see how we can use a bar model to break this problem down as well. So, well, I know that Kim has got more than Zara. So Kim's bar's longer. And I know in total they've got 60 pounds. Now let's add in that other information, which is the difference between the amount that Kim has and Zara has. That's 10 pounds. So how much must they have each? Well, apart from that difference of 10 pounds, they have the same amount of money, which is 50 pounds. So split that equally, and it's like 25 and 25 each, plus Kim has that extra 10 pounds. So how much do they have each? Well, Kim has 35 pounds, and Zara has 25 pounds. I can check that's correct because 35 pounds plus 25 pounds is 60 pounds and the difference between 35 pounds and 25 pounds is 10 pounds. Now, let me show you how to find today's task and there's a few changes. Now there's a tab at, on the homepage of icmaths.com with all home lessons, um, which is the original page that we, that we had. So if you came on here, we've got all the year three and four lessons, all the year five and six lessons, and the independent task of the day will always be under the video, as well as everything else that I've done for, for helping your children to learn at home. You might though want to go to home learning, home learning year five and year six, and as well as today's video and task, you'll find all of the previous videos and all of the previous tasks. So if you've missed a video or you've missed a task, they're all on this, uh, on this page. Today's task will still be on that link, and when you click that, it will look like this. As ever, perhaps have a go at choosing task A or task B. Um, have a look at how you can show your learning with your equipment or with pictures. Um, you might have a go at creating your own version of one of these types of questions for someone else. And as normal, the answers are just on the bottom of the page. Good luck. Keep sending your work through. Well done for all your effort and I will see you again tomorrow.